We are gonna go to the Central Market now and we're gonna get some gelato. Yay, time for gelato! Let's see what's vegan. Sorry. Oh, it says. It says it right there. Vegan, vegan, vegan. Wow, awesome. Good So I have um, yogurt flavor, hazelnut, uh, green detox, which is like kale and stuff, and chocolate sorbet. The chocolate's good. Chocolate's always good though. How the hazelnut? I taste the kale one. It tastes like green juice. Oh, I got the yogurt flavored, um, and it's vegan. It's really good. As you saw this morning, I ate watermelon for breakfast and a couple snacks and then we went to yoga and then I um, roamed around and I also went to like the central market and um, I had the salad and it was really terrible, um, which is really rare because how can you mess up a salad, right? But the, the veggies were just not great. Um, so I ended up eating something else and then I realized by like the half end of the day, sort of, it's now like five or so, that I hadn't eaten any protein all day. Um, but I like to keep one of my meals in the morning healthy or eat one meal at home. That way I know that at least I can make it macro friendly. Um, just to make sure I get enough protein in so I'm not just eating like carbs or not getting any protein. So I just went to the gym. That's why I'm um, glowy, glistening, sweaty. And I'm just gonna snack on tofu before I go to dinner because um, I know that the menu is not really like protein heavy. It's um, a really cool restaurant though. But anyway, I'm just gonna have a snack of tofu. I know that's 
probably the most vegan thing ever, but it's a really good way to just get in protein. So think of it as like a protein bar. I just don't have any cliff bars with me, so I'm having a little bit of tofu. And then I also brought a couple packs of like travel size or sample size protein powders just to have um, in case because you really want to be able to enjoy the things um, that there are to eat when you travel, but you also want to make sure you still get enough protein in. Uh, so just get it out of the way like in the morning and then the rest of your meals enjoy whatever you want or have like breakfast and lunch out and then have your dinners at home and have like something that you know is gonna help you hit your macros or like get your veggies in um, so always make sure you get your vegetables in eat enough vegetables I usually like to buy broccoli and just steam it in mass and have it in the fridge um, I also have like zucchini um, and then I've been eating this as a home meal really often it's just red lentil pasta and it's really good macros like very high in protein um, very very low in fat and then I used to have that with uh, pasta sauce and like tons of tons of veggies um, so that I'll have like once a day usually just to make sure that one of my meals helps me hit my macros and keeps me healthy. My mom and I are gonna go to this vegan restaurant um, and yeah before we go I'm gonna have my tofu so yeah. I also wanted to say that it's so so easy to be vegan in Italy. Um, I'm finding it really easy because you also have like the pizza option where it's just pizza marinara and it's um just you know without cheese and it's a normal thing here completely normal um, but also in general there are so many vegan restaurants here in Florence at least um, that I'm almost having trouble deciding like which ones I want to go to um, because another tip I like to do is like when I get somewhere and I travel I know that there's foods that I'm gonna want to try um, or eat or like are must eats when I'm there um, so what I'll do is usually I'll make a list of a mental list of things that I want to try when I'm there so for example in Italy of course pizza pasta I want to have a really good focaccia, stuff like that, and um, I just have it once and then that's it. So instead of like aimlessly wandering around and eating pizza every time I see it, I'll actually try to look up where I can get the best vegan pizza or which pizza is the most um, worth eating, I suppose, and then that way I still get to eat what I want to eat, but I'm also not like having pizza for every single meal. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And um, we went to the market this morning, just a regular grocery store that we happened to pass by, and found this vegan, I think it's mozzarella cheese, um, but it feels really squishy and it's great. It's just awesome, I just found it. And then this is like kind of like a harder cheese, it's also vegan, and um, it'll still be fine. I think there were a couple other things. There were like a lot of burgers and stuff, but that's not really my thing, so yeah. But anyway, overall, A++, super easy to be vegan in Florence. I love it here. That is amazing. Here we are. So I have the black rice with mushrooms. Um, a lot of oil, uh, but that's okay. And then this is the? This one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Vegetables with the tomato. Oh, Pasta pomodoro. And eggplant parmesan with rice cheese. Are you ready to get a reading, Mom? Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you ready, Mom? Uh, yeah. We just finished our food, and then now we're going to get um, a reading, astrology reading. Okay. Or we'll, we'll find out. What yeah, it is. I don't know exactly, but it should be. It's based on the 12 um, astrology signs, and there's like a, a dish for each one. And um, you can also get your readings done. Um, and then there's also like four different dishes for each of the elements like earth, fire, water, air. Um, so it's pretty cool. Look at this rain, guys. It's crazy. It almost feels like it's, I don't know, it just adds to the experience, I guess. <laughs> it's raining so hard. Oh, is it hail? I think it is hail. Then for the Gemini to. Start to think about yourself. E trovare un radicamento, perché il gemelli che sente un grande movimento troverà anche un punto di fermo per un po' di tempo. And a moment for you to get a little bit at the same at on one place, because the Gemini move a lot. Che Sagittario sono eternamente giovani, sempre, ma davvero. Both of you, of your signs, are eternally young. <laughs> sono giovani, sempre molto giovani, di testa e di cuore. Young from the, from the, from the mind and the earth. Oh, vegan? Vegan? Vegan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Across the street is um, Florence's first vegan restaurant. 
Oh, I'm fuzzy. It was a really nice experience. Um, the inside is very cool. They have like star lights and fairy lights. And we got a little bit of a, not really a reading, but we consulted with um, the owner of the restaurant who is like an astrologist. So it was very cool. Um, highly recommend for anyone who's in Florence if you're interested in that kind of thing. The food was um, quite simple, but in a good way. It wasn't anything too fancy, but it's really it's supposed to be tailored to like the signs. So it was good though. I really enjoyed it. It was like a fun little date night.